Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha children, I welcome you all to our online English class. In today's class, we are going to see a grammar topic children. All of you like story? How is the story actually said children? Yes, they narrate a story. So in narration, there are two kinds of narration. One is a direct speech and another is in the indirect speech. And what is this direct speech? Quoting the exact words of the speaker is called as a direct speech. Indirect speech means reporting the words of the speaker is called as an indirect speech. Let us understand this more with the, with the use of an example children. Here you could see the sentence Ram said I like chocolates. You can see there are words written in the quotes. So these are the words used exactly by Ram or the speaker. When the speaker's word is quoted or it is used as such, it is called as direct speech. Let us come to the other example. Ram told that he liked chocolates. The same sentence, you could see a different version of the same sentence. Here it is said, Ram told that he liked chocolates. There are some changes, is or no children? From the first sentence, you could see there are some changes. Yes, so this is reporting of the actual words of the speaker and this is called as an indirect speech or the reported speech. So before understanding how to convert this direct speech into an indirect speech or what is a direct speech and indirect speech, we must understand how to this, you must understand all these terms of a sentence. Okay, Ram said I like chocolates. So this part Ram said whom said to whom will form the reporting part of the sentence. So this is called as a reporting part of a sentence. I like chocolates will become the reported part of the sentence. And the verb corresponding to the part will be called as, for example, said is a verb occurring in the reporting part. So it is called as reporting verb. And the verb corresponding to the reported part will be called as the reported verb. So it is important that we know these terms because we are going to be using all these terms in our rules. So this is called as reported verb. Okay children, reporting part, reported part. The verb corresponding to the reporting part is called as a reporting verb. Verb corresponding to the reported part is called as a reported verb. Now let us see what are the changes occurring for us okay when we have to convert the direct speech into indirect speech. Here you could have seen Ram said and there is an double quotes. So here you can see the said is replaced by told the double quotes is replaced by that and there is also a change in the tense as well as the pronoun of the sentence. Okay, if you have to convert a direct speech to an indirect speech, the following changes have to be done. The first is the same, okay, the reporting verb has been changed to told. And this conversion, okay, is depending upon the type of the sentence we are dealing with. So that we'll look in, into another session, okay, children. So in this session, we are going to deal only with assertive sentences. Depending upon the sentences, this reporting verb will have the corresponding change. So for us now, we are going to deal only with the assertive sentence. So I have written it as told. And the quotes, the double quotes, the words lying in the double quotes, the double quotes has been replaced with the conjunction that. And the pronoun and the tense okay, of the sentence has been correspondingly changed. So the pronouns and the tense of the reported part will change accordingly. So for which we are going to see all those rules. We follow certain rules and that will be dealing in the session today. So rules for changing the pronouns. We'll go with the pronouns first and later on we'll move with the tenses. Okay children for rules for changing the pronouns. All of you know what is a pronoun. 
Yes or no, children? He, she, it, I, you, we, they, all these things are called as a pronouns. So, regarding the pronouns, we have the following rules. So, the first rule is, if the pronoun of the reported speech is in the first person. So, which is the reported part of a sentence, children? I already told you. This is called as a reported part. If the pronoun lying in the reported part is in the first person, first person pronouns are I and V. If they are in the first, first person, then the pronoun will change according to the subject of the reporting side, okay, the reporting part. It will change according to the subject of the reporting verb. For example, we take, we'll, we'll take this example. Alex said, I want a car. Now, would you help me find out which is the reporting part and the reported part, children? The first step is we need to understand what we are dealing with. Okay, so this part is called as a reporting. I have already told you, but even then, this side is called as a reporting part and the corresponding verb is called as a reported verb. And this side is called as a reported part of a sentence and the verb corresponding to this part is called as a reported verb. So, the rule is when, okay, the pronoun of the reported part, pronoun of the reported part is in the first person. First person pronouns are I and V. If it is in the first person, then it will change according to the subject of the reported, subject of the reporting part. So, which is the subject of the reporting part? Alex is the subject of the reporting part. So, the corresponding pronoun to be used. Alex is a male. So, what is a male pronoun children? He. So, we have to move So, Alex said we have to change the pronoun according to the subject. So, Alex is instead of said I told you you have to put told ok. This conversion is also important children. Alex told remove the double quotes and write that Alex is a subject. So, we are replacing this I with the pronoun of the subject Alex. So, Alex told that he want a car to be changed as he wanted a car. Yes, children? Let us understand rule number one better using some more examples. Ram said, I like mangoes. So, let us form the conversion. I told you the conversion should happen here. You have to replace this and you will have to replace the pronoun and you have to replace the tense ok. Ram instead of said we have to write told instead of the double quotes we have to write the conjunction that Ram told that and I told you what is the first rule when the pronoun of the reported part is in the first person ok it should change according to the subject of the reporting part here the subject is Ram who is a boy. So, what is the pronoun for a boy? He. I is changed as he liked mangoes. The change of the tenses we will see in the next session children. We are just dealing with the pronouns in this session. They said we like mangoes. So, where the change to be taking place? Say the quotes, the pronoun and the the indirect speech is they told instead of quotes that and instead of we it is a first person pronoun occurring in the reported part. So, it should change according to the subject of the reported part sorry according to the subject of the reporting part. So, we will become they. They is already a pronoun, so we are using the same pronoun here. They told that they liked mangoes. Fine children. Let us move on to another example. You said I like mangoes. So, here you could see we are changing the subject of the reporting part. 
so that there will be an accordance change in the pronoun of the reported part ok we are changing you could see we have changed the subject of the reporting part ok that is what we are dealing with the examples you said I like mangoes the changes go over here here and here you said that so the pronoun I should change according to the subject of the reporting reporting verb so you is already a pronoun use the same you here also you liked mangoes fine children so let us move on to rule number two the rule number two is we have seen the first person now we are going to see about the second person okay if the pronoun of the reported part is in the second person okay second person pronoun is you it changes according to the object of the reporting verb so if it is in the second person you have to change according to the object of the reporting verb so let us understand this with an example Alex said to me you are brilliant now let us understand what is the subject and what is an object all of us know what is the subject the doer of the action is the subject and to whom the action is transferred is a object so here me becomes the object so we have to change the pronoun according to the object of the reporting verb you are brilliant Alex said to be told told to me that you to be changed according to the object of the reporting verb so me will become I I was brilliant understood children we must change the pronoun okay of the reported part according to the object of the reporting verb in the case of second person if it is in the second person you have to check the object of the reporting verb so here the object is me Alex told to me that I was brilliant okay children let us see some more examples of rule number two children I hope you remember rule number two wherein if the pronoun is in the second person the pronoun of the reported part is in the second person the pronoun will undergo change according to the object of the reporting verb okay that is a rule number two I said to Sheetal you are brilliant so here we see the pronoun is in the second person so it must be converted according to the object okay it must be converted according to the object of the reporting part okay I told conversion will go here here the pronoun and the tense so I told to Sheetal or I told Sheetal you can write anyways that you to be converted as the object Sheetal is a girl the girl pronoun is she was brilliant I said to you you keep quiet so in the rule number one we saw different subject examples in rule number two we are seeing different object examples you would have noticed first uh, was a boy the next is a girl and next is you itself okay so the conversion is I told you or I told to you is also fine I told you that you must change the pronoun of the reported part according to the object of the reporting part since it is also you it remains unchanged I told you that you keep quiet okay it can otherwise be written I told you to keep quiet that is also fine so let us go to rule number three so we have seen first person pronoun second person pronoun the next rule is the third person pronoun if the pronoun of the reported part is in third person 
then if you are going to convert it into an indirect speech there will not be any change in the pronoun so the pronoun will remain the same in the case of third person okay i said to him ram is a good boy so here ram is the third person if the if it is in the third person then it remains the same there is no change so i told to him or i told him that ram was a good boy mom said that they will come in the evening so mom told dad that okay they is third person pronoun it will remain the same that they would come in the evening okay children i hope you would have understood the rules of converting the pronouns so in the next session we will be dealing about how to change the tense okay of the reported part okay don't forget to subscribe our channel children and you will get more new updates from our channel see you all in the next class children